Now we're following up on a devastating car crash and fire in Fall River. And two people died after their car crashed into an apartment building, setting it on fire. And now the building has been torn down, leaving dozens of people without homes. New at 5 tonight, we're talking to the city's mayor about the organizations who are working together to help victims get back on their feet. And we have advice for others who are renting an apartment in the unlikely event something like this happens to you. Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh has been tracking this story for days now. She joins us live in Fall River with the latest. Kate? Well, Mike and Shannon, we're back live tonight at the scene of that deadly crash and fire. But right now, efforts are going on in other parts of the city to help those 80 people who once lived here. And earlier today, the city's emergency management director said this serves as a reminder to others living in apartments to get apartment insurance because those who didn't have it here have absolutely nothing now. But help is on the way. This pile of rubble at Four Winds Apartments, quite symbolic of the lives of 80 people now in ruins. Confused, overwhelmed, homeless, they're searching for help and direction. The city, also overwhelmed with an outpouring of support from generous citizens, met with several agencies Thursday to organize efforts and donations. January 8th from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m., here at Government Center Fall River in the atrium. It's right in the center of the city. There, victims can meet with several agencies and get help from a locksmith to unlock their cars still in the lot, pharmacists, finding permanent housing, even getting a new license and social security card. As for those wanting to help, the Firefighters Wives Association President Sharon Furtado said what victims need most right now is money. We set up our own GoFundMe and we're hoping that people will know that that's the one to go to for now because that money is going to be going 100% to all of the victims equally. Any new clean clothes and toiletries can be donated to Recreation, located at 45 Rock Street in Fall River. Mayor Jaisal Correa said they do have some federal money saved in emergency funds, but they're asking for the public's help. Gift card donations can be dropped off at the Community Development Agency, room 414, fourth floor government center. Right now, families are staying with friends, relatives, and in hotels, but they'll all need permanent homes as soon as possible. There's still no word yet on what caused that elderly woman to crash her car into the building, killing her and her passenger. New at 6 o'clock tonight, in the midst of all this devastation, we'll tell you about a glimmer of hope for one couple. Live in Fall River, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.